promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. And don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able. He's able. what he said he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you and don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he's able he's able is able to do just what he said he will do he's gonna fulfill every promise to you and don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he's able Say, oh, 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 he's able. Say, oh, 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 he's able. Say, Let's say that again. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. One more time. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. For the third time. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. He's able.
give up on God Cause He won't give up on you Don't give up on God Cause He won't give up on you Don't give up on him let the Lord know you adore him let the Lord know you love him more than anything I love you Jesus I worship and adore you just want to tell you Hallelujah. I worship and adore you. Yes. Just want to tell you. Come on, worship that him. I love you all over the more building. than anything. Extend your hands to Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Glory. Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me that love. That's love. Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you. recognize him let the Lord know that you adore him let him know that you love him come on whisper some sweet love to him whisper something to him hallelujah Lord I love you more than anything I'm willing to sacrifice anything for you Lord that's love Hallelujah. I better know the Lord love you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him would not perish, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank God for all of you. Thank God for you all being here today. Thank God for our visitors. Come on, let's give our visitors a hand. Amen, amen, amen. Again, this is uh, a Sunday where the Jaguars will be playing. Amen. They'll be playing uh, today. San Francisco, uh, go down. Go down, San Francisco. We praying against you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we're praying for the Jaguars. <laughs> we pray, go do ball. Amen. Amen. Down, down with the 49ers. Amen. And up with the Jaguars. Amen. Jaguars, play your best game today and take them out and send them back home dragging their tail amen so we thank god amen for all of you i'm all jaguars y'all y'all know that don't you? you know last time i prayed for the jaguars day one i'm gonna pray every time i'm gonna keep on praying for them amen because i really want jacksonville to have more than just a championship team but a super bowl winning team amen so we thank god thank god again thank god for our musician Thank God for all of you in your respective places. Amen. Let's go to the word. Let's go to the word. Second Kings. Second Kings chapter number two. Second Kings chapter two. And verse number 11. And it came to pass as they still went on and talked. That behold there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder and Elijah went up by whirlwind into heaven this message was inspired while my cousin was lying on his sick bed in hospice at the Baptist hospital the nurse came in the room and, and she began to say how peaceful he looked. 
and how peaceful it was in the room. Before she came in there, I had already experienced that, had already said that uh, to the wife. And one thing she said that really got my attention. She said to the wife, we want to make him comfortable because he's transitioning. He's transitioning. Now, there's something that I knew that the nurse didn't know. The nurse didn't know she was transitioning too. The nurse didn't know, even though I was sitting there breathing, nothing hooked up to me, I was transitioning too. She didn't know everybody in the room was transitioning. She didn't know that everybody that living on planet Earth breathing God's air is in transition. We're all transitioning. Here is Elijah talking to his protege, Elisha, having a conversation with him. And that conversation started in Gilgal. He said to him, he said, I'm going to Gilgal and wait here for me. And Elisha said, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wherever you go, I'm going to. He went from Gilgal. He said, I'm headed to Bethel. He said, stay right here till I get back. He said, no, I'm going with you. But there was, there was sons of the prophets. Uh, every time uh, Elisha uh, stayed behind, they they, you know, you ever, you ever had somebody prophesy you to you and they wasn't saying nothing good? Uh, they was prophesying the truth, but he didn't want that. He didn't want, he didn't want to hear that. He didn't want to hear that his master, Elijah, was leaving him. He, he, just, he just knew that, that Elijah and him would be cut buddies for a long time, for many years to come. And the, and the sons of the prophets told him, said, God's going to get ready to take your master away. You don't know it, and you don't know that. And Elijah told him, Elijah told him to shut up. I know that. Some things you already know. Am I, am I preaching a little bit? See, one thing I must say to all of us when it comes down to prophecy of coming down to a word of knowledge, God won't tell nobody something he haven't already been telling you. It's, it's, it's just a confirmation of what God has already been saying. And, and here is Elijah. Elijah, a man of God, uh, in touch with God, so that he, he, he felt in his spirit. He knew that his time of departure was at hand. He knew his transitioning was at hand. He knew it was time for him to transition from this earth to heaven. Anybody know that besides Elijah? <laughs> I, know, I know I'm transitioning. I know, I know the day is going to come. I know the day going to come when Jesus is going to be caught up. He's going to be on the cloud and he's going to have a trumpet in his hand. He has a shofar and he's going to sound that trumpet off. And, and when something he said while he was on earth, he said, my sheep hear my voice. And the stranger, they will not follow. So, so you, when, when Jesus sound the trumpet, there's going to be the sound, his voice going to be uh, uh, echoing throughout the world, throughout this universe. And those that know the voice going to be caught up to meet him in the air. Somebody say from transitioning to transition. <laughs> from transitioning to transition. Now, now let's, let's, let's deal with this perspective of this message. Uh, you know, when you are, when you are uh, uh, transitioning, that means you're making a shift. You're changing. You're making a change. You, 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 you're moving from one place to another. You, 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 somebody say, I'm changing my course. I'm changing my course. Here is, here is Elijah. Elijah. When you have a relationship with God, you know when it's your time. When you, when you have a relationship with God, you know it's your time. Elijah, God did something to keep them apart. God sent a chariot of fire and horses of fire and put them in between them to separate them. He knew that Elisha loved Elijah so much that he couldn't watch him leave him without trying to go with him. But when God got a place for you, 
your place is your place and their place is their place and it wasn't time for Elisha to go yet. Ooh, I'm feeling good today. And, and he, Elijah was in transition and God was in control. I love this, this, uh, this message here about, about this transition is because it reminds me of, of our perspective of life. I remember preaching a message one time, expiration date. Uh, all of us have an expiration date. All of us have one, but all of us, none of us know when that date is going to come. Jesus said, death is like a thief. It slips up on you, unannounced. It don't let you know it's coming, but it's coming. Somebody says it's coming. Just as sure as you live, you, you, you are in transition. Just as sure as you, you, you're walking on these mundane shores, just as sure as you're walking on this earth, you are in transition. Somebody said, ready or not? Here death comes. <laughs> Ready or not, death is coming. Death, death is, is crouching on you. Uh, death is tapping on you. Death is like a, a knock at the door and, and waiting for somebody to answer. The day going to come that you're going to all, all of us going to have to answer this death call. The Apostle Paul, one of the greatest apostles that ever lived, this man said uh, in 2 Timothy 4 and 7, he said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give uh, me at that day, and not me only. But unto all them also that love his appearing. Anybody love the appearing of the Lord? Anybody's excited that the Lord is coming one day? Anybody is excited that the only thing that's separating you from heaven is death? Oh, I don't know about you, but, 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 but I'm, I'm looking for that day that I'm going to be caught up to meet him in the air. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that day. Yes, I love my wife. I love my children. I love my cousin them and my auntie them. I love my friends. But, but, but let me tell you something. When my day come, uh, I'm not going to be holding on to you. I'm going to have to let you go. Y'all help me. That, that's why, see, 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 we, we, we be so busy trying to get our affairs in order. We be so busy trying to make sure that our will and uh, our last will and testament is in place. We, we try to make sure that, that our property don't go into probate. We, we try to make sure we got our trust in order. But I come to tell you today, you better make sure you got your house in order. You better, you better make sure you got your soul in order. You, you better make sure you save. If I remember uh, uh, there was a man by the name of Nicodemus. A man by the name of Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a, was a, a high priest. Nicodemus uh, was a man uh, that had his perspective and he, he, he realized, now I know I go to church. I know, I, I know the Torah. I know some scripture. I know, I, I know some, uh, some high people, some people in high places. I know I have some, some compadres that that's high ranking in the Pharisaic order. I, I, I know I, I, I believe I, I know God. I believe I know God. He, he, but he, he realized he didn't know Jesus. <laughs> he realized he didn't know what Jesus knew, so he went to Jesus by night. Somebody say he went by night. He went because he didn't want his other boys to see him uh, during the daytime going and, and, and have, having the camaraderie with Jesus. And he went to Jesus, and, and then when he got to Jesus, he said, Jesus, uh, uh, we, we know that you were sent from God. We know God sent you. I, have, I, I believe God sent you. But, but there's some things uh, I'm not clear about. I'm, I, I need to know some stuff. I, I, I need you to help me out. And Jesus said to Nicodemus, he said, Nick, you must be born again. <laughs> you, you, you got to have a, a transition. <laughs> you, you, you got to move from, from, from this natural to the supernatural. If you want to have a relationship with God, Nicodemus, you can't have it like you are. 
<laughs> you must be born again because that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Nicodemus, you, 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 got, to, you got to be born again. You got to be born into the family of God. You can't join the family of God. <laughs> you got to be born into the family of God. Just like that, that baby sitting right there. That baby couldn't come into this world without being born into this world. This baby, that baby couldn't say, I'm some kin to, uh, to you without being born into this world. Y'all help me out. <laughs> uh, see, because if you can join, if you can join families, we'll be walking down the street just picking people. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll be walking down the street choosing who we want to be a part of our family but it don't work like that you got to be born into the Mitzi family oh you got to be born into uh, Jesus family Nic Nicodemus uh, didn't understand that it, it, and Jesus was just putting him in perspective and letting him know that which is natural is natural and that which is spiritual is spiritual you got to, you got to transition from here to here yeah, you got to you got to move from the natural to the spiritual in order to go with God in order to have a relationship with God you got to move from the natural to the spiritual and Elijah was trying to convey the same message to Elisha he was saying to him you can't go with me but Elijah, Elisha said, well, since I can't go with you, could you do me a favor? Could you give me a double portion of that spirit that's on you? Could, could you leave me? Don't, don't leave me lonely. <laughs> don't, don't leave me alone. Let me, let, let me experience what I've been experiencing with you. Let me have that experience when you leave me. Can I have a double portion? of that spirit of that God of that Jesus I don't know him of that of that Holy Spirit because I, I just want a double portion of that anointing on my life and he said now watch not now you're asking a hard thing now you <laughs> you asking a hard thing that ain't really something that I can do I don't have control of that but one thing I will tell you if you see me when I depart <laughs> uh, that there's a possibility that could happen and he saw him leave didn't he see him leave and the mantle somebody said the mantle the presence of God fell. Glory to God fell on him and fell. And he, and, 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 and he had to, he had to, to make sure that, that God was with him. He asked, he said, the God of Elijah, good God Almighty. And he took that mantle and smoked the Jordan and it, and it partly split in two. Why? Because the power of God. Tell that neighbor, say, neighbor, if you got God in you, you need to put him to the test. Uh, you need to ask God for something. You need to ask God to do something for you. You, ask, you ought to ask God to move for you. Somebody said, move for me, God. The scripture says, and when it comes down, uh, when, we've, when we go from transitioning to transition, there, there was a man by the name of Abraham in Genesis 25 and 8. Then Abraham gave up the ghost and died in a good old age and an old man that was gathered to his people it's a good thing to know you can you can live a good old age <laughs> uh, this man abraham listen to me y'all see you ain't got to you ain't got to die of no no disease or no sickness you know you have people talking about well you know we all gonna die from something you talk about yourself you ain't talking about me <laughs> I ain't dying from nothing but death itself. <laughs> the, only, the only thing going to separate me from this world is death itself. No disease, no heart uh, attack, no, no diabetes, no sugar. Uh, Y'all help me out. No, no low sugar, no high blood, no low blood. None of that. I'm, I'm just going to check out of here. Me and death, we, we got, we, we got, we friends. We, we understand the only thing that separate me from going to heaven is death. We all going to have to sleep away from here. We all going to have to transition away from here. And Abraham had a, had a son uh, by the name of Ishmael, Genesis chapter 25 and 17. And these are the years 
of the life of Ishmael and, and, and 130 and seven years, 137 years, and he gave up the ghost and died and was gathered unto his people. This man lived 137 years, good God Almighty. And, and I, I claim, uh, 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 young lady, I claim to be around 135. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> uh, be around 135 years. I'm going to be around here while uh, skipping around at 135 because if Abraham could live a good old age, <laughs> I believe I could too. If Ishmael can live 137 years, I believe I can live my 135. Y'all help me out. And I know, I know some of y'all, y'all envisioning me walking around with a cane. You envisioning me rolling in a wheelchair, but I tell you not, not me. That ain't none of me because I'm gonna be in good old shape. I'm gonna be skipping around and moving around. I'm gonna still be dancing to the Lord. I'm going to still be throwing my hands up to the Lord. I'm going to still be preaching the word. Somebody said preach preacher and that's what I'm going to be doing even up to 135 years old. I know what you're saying. You're saying that's a little uh, 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 you, 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 you just exaggerate. I ain't exaggerating nothing. I'm calling this thing out. I'm calling those things that be not as though they were. I'm calling it out by faith. You speak for yourself and I speak for myself. I wish I had me a witness. You got to talk to your body. You got to tell your body you mine. You belong to me. When you feel them aches, y'all know what I'm talking about. When you're rolling out the bed and you feel something you ain't felt before, you tell your body, get yourself in order. I wish I had me a witness. I'm so glad that I understand that we're going from transitioning to transition. Amen. Abraham, he moved from transitioning to transition. Somebody said, death is my transition. I will be called up to meet him in the air. I'm so glad that the Bible tells us that the trumpet will sound. I feel like preaching, y'all. I don't want to read ahead of myself, but I got to take you here with me in Genesis 35 and 29. It says in Isaac. You know, uh, Abraham had two boys, one of the promise and one not of the promise. And, uh, and Isaac gave up the ghost. Somebody say, Isaac gave up the ghost. When you hear that word, gave up the ghost, that means, and he died. And was gathered unto his people, being old and full of days. And his sons uh, Esau and Jacob buried him. Uh, somebody say, you got to go. You got to say, see, one thing about that, when he gave up the ghost, listen to me now. When he gave up the ghost, his spirit left him. When you give up the ghost, your spirit leaves you. The Bible says every man is appointed once to die. But after death, judgment. Somebody says it's time to meet the maker. I love this uh, so much that the, the text says, and, and I want to read uh, what, what uh, Mark says. And Mark says in, in Mark, Mark 15, uh, 37. Mark 15, 37. And Jesus cried with a loud voice and gave up the ghost. Jesus went from transitioning to transition. Somebody said, if Jesus had to die, oh, what about you? If Jesus had to die, oh, what about me? Jesus was transitioning when he was 12 years old, standing at the pulpit, reading the Old Testament. He was transitioning then. Jesus was transitioning when, when he went to Galilee and, and, and he was, uh, went there and was healing the sick and, and the people tried to kill him. And he went in the midst of them. Somebody said he was transitioning then. First Corinthians. And I'm a, I believe I'm going to conclude in this chapter that the Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian believers. Tell, tell that neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't know about you, but I need some hope. I need 
some hope. This man write this letter to the church of Corinthians and he give them some perspective about transitioning. He talked about the celestial and the terrestrial, the different body types, an earthly body and a heavenly body. Tell the neighbor, say, I'm looking for my heavenly body. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse number 51, Paul writes this. He said, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Tell that neighbor, say, We may not all die, but we all will transition. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory. O death where is thy sting? O grave where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, <laughs> unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Tell that neighbor, say, neighbor, keep transitioning. As long as, as, as you see me walking on these shores, as long as you see me matriculating around here, I, I, I might tell you every now and again, transitioning. <laughs> I, I, I may have to remind you that I'm transitioning. You, you, you might say, well, Pastor, I saw you uh, over there. Uh, I, I saw you drinking uh, uh, some, some liquor. I'm transitioning. <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw you. I saw you. I saw you uh, mess up. I'm transitioning. Tell that neighbor, I'm transitioning. I, I, ain't, I ain't gone yet. It ain't over yet. I wish I had me some. It ain't over yet. I'm, as long as I'm in transitioning, there's hope. As long as Nicodemus was transitioning, there was hope for him. It ain't over till it's over. It, it ain't over until uh, it, uh, ED is on the end. It ain't over until I transition. I wish I had me somebody. Tell the neighbor, say, we all will be changed. We all gonna change. We, we all gonna uh, strip ourselves of this natural body. See, you got to understand something. I don't care how you look now. You may not even like how you look now. But don't worry. You ain't gonna always look like that. The day gonna come when this, this corruption gonna put on incorruption. The day gonna come where I ain't gonna need no Brazilian, uh, y'all will help me out. <laughs> uh, the day gonna come I ain't gonna need no false eyelashes. I, 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 ain't, I ain't gonna need no Tommy Tuck. <laughs> I ain't gonna need no phony abs. Y'all help me now. Uh, the day gonna come when I'm, when this corruption gonna put on incorruption. Glory to God. I'm a, I'm transitioning to to my to my new body. I'm, I'm I'm moving from the old to the new. Thank God for this man by the name of Paul. Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 5:17. He says, "If any man be in Christ." 
be in Christ. He's a new creature. He's a new creation. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. He, he, he done transitioned from, from the old to the new. <laughs> he, 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 he done transitioned from, from the old body to the new body. Now, see, let me tell you something. See, when you got Christ inside of you, the hope of glory. Ah. Uh -huh. When you got Christ inside of you, you got the fountain of youth. Prove it, preacher. Uh, John chapter 4, Jesus says to the woman at the well, he said, if you drink of this water, you're going to thirst again. But if you drink of the water that I give you, you'll never thirst. This, there will, and you'll have water inside of you springing up until everlasting life. You have a, a, a water springing up inside of you to eternal life. Tell our neighbor, say, neighbor, I found the fountain of youth. <laughs> Glory to God, because when you got Christ inside of you, when you got God inside of you, it's, it's kind of hard to age when you got ageless inside of you. <laughs> Ow! I said it's hard to age when you got ageless on the inside of you. You got eternal life on the inside of you. It's hard to differentiate. It's hard to, you know, you be wrestling with aging and he living for eternity. <laughs> you, you be wrestling with saying, uh, am, am I getting old? I thought I was supposed to be getting old, but I don't feel like I'm getting old. I don't look like I'm getting old. I still look good. <laughs> Y'all help me. As a matter of fact, God will have some people to remind you that you ain't aging. They say, why you look so, how you look so good? How, how could you maintain your youth like that? Well, the Lord told the, the believers, he said, I renew your youth as an eagle. I wish I had me a witness. You better go find you some scripture that will back up why you look so good. You better go find you some scripture that backs up why you look so pretty and you so beautiful because God said I beautify the meek with salvation I keep you looking good for a long time somebody say yes he will I heard David said oh taste and see that the Lord is good I'm so glad that one day at the age of 22 years old I got me a taste of that I taste him for myself I heard people talking about it but it didn't do me no good but I found out for myself he's mm, good ah, when I tasted him for myself I found out that you can live for a long time and when I tasted him for myself I found out that by his stripes I am healed I tasted him for myself and I found out that the blessings of the Lord make it rich and he adds no sorrow to it I found out for myself I'm the head and not the tail I'm above only and not believe. I found out for myself that I got a thousand times more in this lifetime. Ideas, insights, and concepts. I found out for myself that God will back you up. Somebody help me preach this word today. I said God will back you up. I'm so glad I understand that he is my Hamashiach. He is my Messiah. He is my Yahshua Hamashiach. Yes, he is. He's my Christ. He's my Savior. He's my impotent. Somebody say, he is. I'm so glad that the Lord is my potentate. Is he your potentate? Somebody say, I'm so glad that he's my Maranatha. Yes, he is. He's my Jehovah Jireh. My Jehovah Tiskanu. He's my Jehovah Nisi. He's my Jehovah Raha. Yes, he is. He's whatever you want him to be. Whenever you want him to be it tell that neighbor say neighbor I need him to be a friend that stick a closer than a brother I need him to be my lawyer in the courtroom I need him to be my doctor in my sick room the Bible said that when if I take care of the poor if I feed the hunger the Lord told me that he would look at me while I'm on my sick bed he'll raise me up touch that neighbor the neighbor 
you got some benefits. You got some benefits that you don't even know about. You got some benefits that you ain't even have or you ain't even read about. I'm so glad that I read about my benefits. I'm so glad that I understand what the word says. I got me some benefits. The Bible says, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Tell that neighbor, say neighbor, you need to know his benefits so you can know your benefits. His benefits are your benefits. When you know his benefits, you know your benefits. I'm so glad that he says in his word, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Tell that neighbor, say neighbor, I'm so glad I got me a healer. I'm so glad I got somebody who will forgive me of all my sins. I'm so glad if I mess up, he'll clean me up. I'm so glad that the Lord told me he redeemeth me. Yes, he will. He redeemeth thy life from destruction. Glory to God. He'll buy me from destruction. He'll purchase me from destruction. He'll pay for my he'll pay my debt. Tell that neighbor, say the Lord will pay your sin debt. Yes he will. He'll deliver you from destruction. He will. Yes he will. Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Can I keep on preaching y'all? Who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Anybody know anything about the eagle? I'm so glad that I got the life of an eagle. Can I, can I keep preaching? I, I don't feel like stopping y'all. I, I still like going on a flow here because I'm transitioning. I want to let you see what you're transitioning from to what you're transitioning to. Um, you ain't transitioned yet, but you need to know why you own this transition. You need to know what belongs to you. The Bible says in Psalms 91, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Tell that neighbor, say, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the north and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid by the arrow that flies by day. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. Tell that neighbor, say neighbor, I ain't scared. Tell that neighbor, say neighbor, I ain't afraid of no terrorism. Oh Lord have mercy. The Lord told us that we will not be afraid for terrorism. I wish I had me a witness. You ain't got to worry about no terrorism. You ain't got to worry about no terror. You ain't got to worry about nobody coming and blowing up the United States of America. Because why would I not worry? Because if they blow up the United States of America, they ain't going to blow us up. Because the Lord will. He said, I'll cover thee with my wings. I wish I had me some money. He said, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness. Nor for the destruction that wasted that noonday. No matter what's going on in Gaza. No matter what's going on in Israel, no matter what's going on in other countries, the Lord told us, don't you worry about it. I got you. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand. Ha! But it shall not. Isn't that what it says? And it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. When you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you made the best decision that any human being could make in this lifetime. You just gave yourself eternal protection. Ha! Tell that neighbor, say, I got double indemnity. 
There shall no evil. I'm going to read it again. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Y'all remember Daniel in the lion's den. They couldn't touch him. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high. Because he had known my name. Knowing his name is important. But him knowing your name is better. He know my name. <laughs> it's better to know that he know my name. It's better to know that he knows Anthony's name. But it's good to know I know his too. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Here we go. With long life, 135 years, with long life, would I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Thank God for the word. Thank God for the power of the word. The word of God is alive, sharper than any two-edged sword cutting even to the marrow and cutting asunder the flesh and the spirit. God knows us all. He says that we, we don't have a high priest who can't be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. I, I want to say to you, I want to give you some encouraging words from the Lord and I want to say to you, it doesn't matter what your state of mind is. It, does, it doesn't matter what, what your status is in Jacksonville no, no matter what your status is in this world but I come to tell you that the Lord told me to share this with you today that he got you he got you he feel what you feeling he know what you're going through he wants you to know that if, if you stick with him you're coming out on the other side the storms will come but thank God we got a we got one who know how to weather a storm with us. He's not going to take the storm away. He's going to go through the storm with me. Just like he did with those disciples. Jesus was on the ship in the midst of the storm. Water burling in the ship. It's coming in. The waves is coming. And water just steady coming in. The disciples goes into a frantic and panics. Run down to the bow of the ship. Jesus down there asleep, chilling. They ain't worried about no storm. I want to say that to you. God ain't worried about that storm you're going through. He, he's not in no panic. Because he already know what he's going to do. He's going to wake up whether you wake him up or not. He's going to wake up and he's going to tell that storm, peace, be still. <laughs> he's going to tell that thing that's bothering you, that thing that's troubling you, peace, be still, glory. He, he wants us to know that, that I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to take care of your situations. I'm going to take care of your problems because it's not yours, it's mine. Everything that pertains to you pertains to me. Everything that bothers you bothers me. If it affects you, it affects me. Somebody said, keep on living. There's victory on us on the side of that. Keep on living. There's victory on the side on the other side of worry. And let me tell you the, let me tell you the victory on the other side of worry. Cast your cares upon him, for he cares for you. The victory on the other side of worry. Be careful for nothing. 
but in all things by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving make your request known to God see you ain't got a word when you tell him about it worry dissipates when you give it to him David said cast your cares upon them cast your burdens upon the Lord for he will sustain you he will, he will keep you he'll keep your feet from slipping glory to God he'll hold you fast hold you fast through it all in the time of trouble the Lord said I'll be your I'll be your refuge I'll be your fortress I'll be your hiding place I'll be with I'll be there to, to shelter you in and keep you the storm when the storm keep on raging in my life when the storms keep on raging ha! so you, you you ain't got to worry about the storm because the Lord will take you through the storms of life hallelujah it's, it's good to know that when trouble comes I heard the whining says it's good to know that he'll be there when I fall but it's better to know that I don't have to fall at all <laughs> it's good to know that it's good to know that it's good it's good to know that a, a, a million didn't make it but I was one of the ones who did that's that's what matters what matters to me is I made it somebody say I made it I made it through <laughs> I made it glory to God I, I made it through through it all I made it through through the through the hardships and and through the pain and through the trouble I made it somebody said many are the afflictions of the righteous but God delivers them out of them all <laughs> it's good to know that, that that even though I'm gonna have a lot of trouble I'm gonna have a lot of trials that God gonna take me through all of them and I don't dictate how. All I got to do is ride, 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 ride the wave. Like them girls doing down at the Jacksonville Beach on, the, the, on them surfboards. They have a, a, surf, a surfing competition. And they ride the wave, y'all. But you know what? They, they, they can't win if they jump off the surfboard. You, you, they, they, they know they can't win if, if they fall off that surfboard. No matter what, they got to stay on. They got to ride the wave. Come on, y'all. And, and, and sometimes you'll be wondering, say, why did they make that maneuver right there knowing that they, they, they could fall? Sometimes the Lord will put you to a real test. Whoo! He should, he'll, he'll put you through a real test and say, you didn't know you was made for that, did you? <laughs> oh! You didn't, you didn't know you didn't know you could you could handle that did you because you could do all things through Christ that strengthens you thank God for the word thank God for the comfort of the word now I better understand somebody said now I better understand that I'm just transitioning transitioning I, I don't have to worry about checking out of here because I haven't transitioned as long as I open my eyes I'm transitioning <laughs> as long as I open my eyes it ain't over somebody say it ain't over I heard somebody say it ain't over to God says it's done if God don't say it's over it ain't over so we give God the praise, honor, and glory. We thank God for this day. Thank God again for you all, the visitors and the members. Thank God for all of you who pressed your way to come out today. Thank God for, amen, the word. That's what encourages us. The word. The word encourages. The word is a keeper. He said, I'll keep you in perfect peace. Hallelujah. If your mind has stayed on me. That's, that, he said, if you keep your, that's the word. Somebody said, that's the word. Keep your mind 
on the word. Keep your mind stayed on, on Jesus, for he's a keeper. And we thank God for his word. And those of you who are here and even watching on streaming live, Aaron, give me something. Those who are even on streaming live, amen. We want to thank God for you. Thank God for you being with us today in this, this message from transitioning to transition. If you opened your eyes this morning, you, you have a transition. You're still in transitioning. And as long as you're in transitioning, it's going to get better. It, 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 it has it, it, the probability of getting better. It can change. It can go from where it is now to a better situation and a better place. If you're here today and you're watching us on streaming live and, and you're not born again, you're not saved, here's your opportunity. You have a chance today to give your life to the Lord. All you have to do is do what the scripture says. That if you will confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you can be saved right now. Right where you are, you can be saved right now. It's just confess with your mouth. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe it. I believe it. And if you believe that, you're saved right now. And if you're online, you can go to our website, fill out the, uh, the salvation card, fill out that information, that connect card on our website or on the church app. Just fill that card out if you're giving your life to the Lord today. Go fill that card out. And if you're not a member of a church and you just, you say, I'm an E-member. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a web member. I'm a member streaming live. I'm, I'm a member of the I Am Church on live from Africa. I got a lot of, a lot of uh, people uh, a, a part of this ministry, amen, internationally. And, and we want the ones local. We want you to come to church. If you're local, come to the I Am Church. Come 600 Everson Street here in the city of Jacksonville, Florida. Amen. Come on and join us. Come on and, amen, come on and, and fellowship with us. Amen. We would love to have you. We would, we would welcome you. Amen. We would welcome you with love. Amen. Amen. One thing I, I, I can say about them I Am Church folks, they love. They love, they love, they love on people and they love one another. Amen. So we thank God for, again, for you. Uh, if you joined, if you want to join in person, come on, come on out. And if you're here today and you want to join, amen, see me, see Pastor Mensa. Say, hey, you know what? I want to join that. I want to join your church. Amen. And, and we, I will, I will give you the right hand of fellowship. I will extend that welcome to you. We'll be glad to have you. Also, it's time to give. Somebody say it's time to give. Amen. It's time to give. Amen. This is, amen. There are several ways in which you can give. You can go to the church website, uh, tiacjax.org slash give. You can go to our cash app, cash the I am church. Also, you can go to the church app. And you, you got an Android, uh, ISOP, I mean iOS, amen, slash Android, go to your Android and you can download the church app. Now, if you got an iPhone, you can go to your, amen, go to your Apple store and, and you can download the I Am Church app on there. Also, uh, if you can text TIAC Jax and the amount to 877-779-2149. Amen. You can give, you can text to give. Somebody say you can text to give. They got technology is so advanced, boy. Thank God for technology. <laughs> amen. There's so many ways, amen, in which you can connect, amen, it, with, it, in the world. It, somebody say uh, uh, AI. AI. Thank you. Yeah, what, AI, AI ain't man's idea, so I want y'all to know that. You know, we got everybody, want, we got people who want to fight against AI, but AI ain't man's idea. You know, uh, AI, God's been around for a long time. Somebody said God's been around for a long time, amen. And, he, and God got all the information stored in him, and he's been dispensing that information to us, amen. Somebody say, so computers aren't new. Amen, God's been around for a long time, and he's been dispensing 
information. Amen. So, and if also we will give you that opportunity to join. Again, like I said, you can see me after service. We also will give at the end of the service. Amen. Let us stand all over the building. Amen. Let us stand all over the building. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Again, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Amen. Thank you for coming. Bernard, thank you for being here with us again today. Amen. Little sweetheart, I saw you before. Amen. You're back with us again today. Glad to have you. Amen. Lift that right hand all over the building, if you will, and repeat after me. What I say unto one, I say unto all, watch and pray and love the Lord with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and all your strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. Look across the room at that neighbor. Say, neighbor, before you leave, you owe me love. So give it up. God bless you. We hope you were blessed by this worship experience here at the I Am Church. Make sure you share this message with your loved ones. Remember, there are three ways for you to give. Number one, website giving. Open your web browser and type in T-I-A-C-J-A-X dot O-R-G and click on the giving tab. Number two is giving through Cash App. Open the Cash App on your Android or iOS device and enter your amount you'd like to give. And search the I Am Church and click Send and you will get a confirmation. Number three is given through our church app. Go to the I Am Church app and click on the Give tab. And you will be able to give through your church app. Thanks for watching and we hope you were blessed. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel at T-I-A-C-J-A-X and like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And if you have not downloaded your church app, please go download our church app. Go to your phone's app store and search the I Am Church and click download. For those who just gave their life to Christ or want to become a member here at the I Am Church, please visit T-I-A-C-J-A-X dot O-R-G forward slash connect and fill out the connect card. Thanks for watching and have a blessed week.